everyone, welcome to Ketology.net. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate avocado mug cake. Um, I came up with this recipe at Halloween because my kids went out trick-or-treating and I was terrified of them coming home with uh, chocolate treats like Kit Kats and Three Musketeers that are my weakness. So I scrambled to put together a mug cake. I have not had great success with mug cakes. I don't love them. They usually turn out really chalky and dry for me. Um, so I've been experimenting and on Halloween I remembered that I had a recipe from my pre-keto days where I used avocado to replace the butter in a recipe because I thought that was healthy. Um, so I decided to try that and it worked out amazingly well. So I'm gonna show you guys how um, I did it where this time I didn't replace the butter. Um, I'm using the butter and I'm using the avocado, which is what instead of um, a mug. But for purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to like the Nutribullet or a spice grinder just to make it a little finer. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna use it as is. So you're gonna mix two tablespoons of almond flour, one tablespoon of um, cocoa powder. I like using this cacao powder. Um, I'll link below uh, some information about why I prefer cacao powder over cocoa powder, but really unsweetened cocoa powder is fine too. Um, this just has some added benefits. So one tablespoon of cacao powder or cocoa powder, as long as it's unsweetened, that's fine. And then we're going to do a half a tablespoon of um, powdered erythritol. So usually it's hard to find powdered erythritol. Uh, it's usually granular. I know that there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So one and a half teaspoons of the powdered erythritol. And I'm just going to, oh, and then, oops, almost forgot. Quarter teaspoon, level it out and add that in powder sometimes clumps up definitely the almond flour so you just want to mix it up so it's nice and uniform okay so there we have it. then we're going to add our liquid ingredients which is one tablespoon of melted butter i use carry gold which is you know the standard for a keto diet because it's grass-fed and it's pretty affordable. One egg, and I usually don't use all the egg white, so this some of this egg white that's just kind of dripping around, I just sort of let it go. I'm gonna eyeball that it's about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And in the recipe on the website, that I posted that's gonna accompany this, I say to add a teaspoon of water. That's just if you see that it's dry. Sometimes, you know, it's funny with these recipes, even though it's the same all the time, like this looks nice and moist, so I'm not gonna have to add any water, but sometimes it looks a little dry. So you can just throw a couple of drops of water in, and the goal is to get it mixed up really well. Like I mashed the alarm, especially because you've got that egg in there. You wanna make sure the yolk and everything gets... Okay, guys, it took the mug cake out of the microwave. It took about a minute and five seconds. Again, it depends on your microwave, so just keep an eye on it. What I do is I set the uh, timer for about 45 seconds and then check it and add 15 second increments until I can tell that it's ready. But as you can see, it looks super moist. Cut into it. It's nice and moist and hot can kind of see the little flecks of avocado in there, but it's super good and delicious. Um, I tend to not like things on the sweet side, so um, I don't always add this, but sometimes when I'm making this for my kids or a friend, I will add five drops of stevia just to sweeten it up a little bit more, um, but that's up to you. If you like things a little sweet, sweeter, I recommend adding some stevia.